What we're looking at here is an Ideal Mexico HE30, uh, about 13 years old now, this old beast, but we have been trying to fix some error codes that have stopped the boiler from working. I think the first thing we did was replace this um, auto vent uh, valve, <coughs> which was trickling water down onto this thermistor here. I think that's a temperature thermistor, so we replaced that. Didn't have any effect. We replaced the ignition probe. And that had no effect. We replaced the uh, PCB, the orange one. Uh, got a eBay one for there. That didn't seem to have any effect, but the problem was the boiler would come on and off to suit itself. When I'd given up and walked away, the next thing I find, the thing started running again. Anyway, I decided to give it one last chance. And we, as you saw on the other piece of video, I took this uh, dry flu thermistor out. Obviously you turn the electricity off before you touch any of this stuff. We took the dry flu thermistor out and as you saw, it was absolutely full of crud in there. Um, and the pins were corroded. So we've replaced it with this. We got masses of shite out of it, to use the correct word. Using our magnet, you can see that was all iron. And uh, we put it all back together and the thing's running again now. So who knows, maybe that has fixed it, but um, in actual fact the drive flew the mist was the only thing I saw which looked as if it needed fixing. Everything else was just done in, in, with our fingers crossed. Anyway, hope that's helped some of you who are trying to find out what's gone wrong with your ideal ICOS boiler. I think a lot of the same parts are on lots of these ICOS models. So hope that's helped somebody along the way and thanks very much for watching.